the guy who delivered this to us, he's from um, the area, and he said he has one himself. He says uh, you, he does recommend getting two extra batteries. Everyone recommends getting extra charger and two extra batteries. <laughs> Okay, there it's on the pellet. Uh, there were some batteries in the charger back here. There's the chute, there's the controller, there's the main auger mechanism. So if I can find where the, oh, there's the other two batteries. Okay, they're underneath. There's the dual battery uh, rapid charger. Now this one will charge four times faster than any of the other chargers. So, and you get four batteries. We have this wire here. This is how it came. It came by the chute area. So I moved all the controls at the control panel and the only thing it doesn't move is this. So this goes. So this thing attaches to here. This comes down to here. Now, um, now the question is, they have areas where you can put all the cables and stuff out of the way. No, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But we're waiting for the... They also gave us this thing here to uh, clean out the chute when you get too much snow in there. Looks pretty pretty snazzy. Uh, this is what I really liked about this one over the newer version, or the 22-inch version that came out here in October of 2023, is that one did not have all the controls here. So this one here, this controls your chute completely from up here. That other has LED lights that turn on and off. This is your adjustable speed here. And the thing that's also neat is it's got, if you want, and you want here hand grips warm, they have them. You don't and uh, so here's your auger speed, here's your drive. Yeah, I like how everything is up here and it's built like a tank. There it is. It's uh, pretty much put together. We do have to adjust these skid shoes. Uh, tighten up uh, any extra bolts. But yeah, it was pretty simple to put together. I did shoes came pre-installed on there. That arm thing came pre-installed on there. So a lot of the parts were already put on there. We just had to put the, the control center on, this area here attached to there, and then we had to put the chute uh, thing on. But everything else looks good. Now, if you didn't buy it with the snow shovel, you would have actually paid full price for the same snowblower. But because they had a bundle with this thing, it was like literally $500 cheaper. Like ridiculous, eh? Unboxing of that. Uh, this one has like little wheels that comes with it. All the ones I've seen of these things don't have wheels. So this one here has wheels. And I also found this piece in there. So it looks like some kind of... Uh, I don't know, some other kind of thing that you put on it. Maybe it's a, a chute or something. And a I don't know how that's going to work, but like I said, that was like free right there. That little snow shovel. It's like a it's like a miniature snowblower, basically. So you put a battery in that and you just... And it does up to 6 inches of snow, 12 inches wide. I think that's actually pretty good. Um, I know my... Uh, I have some relatives that actually had one by another manufacturer, one of these little snow shovel things, and they told me it was pretty good, so, unfortunately. But this little guy did work. I'm going to go clean her off. You can see that does get a lot of snow on there. But, yeah, this thing worked really good. Uh, it worked way better than when using the snow shovel. Worth it. Oh, and this thing with the wheels, let me tell you, it definitely helps having the wheels. This thing right there is definitely worth it. Um, it really is. Now, we didn't have enough snow to use the big snowblower, but this thing here handled very well. Believe it or not, these tools like this Renobi snowblower and this little Renobi snow shovel work really good if you have a disability, like walk with a cane like I do, or if you have a bad back. Like, if you totally have a bad back, this would be great for you because it's an electric snow shovel. It kind of replaces the snow shovel part, which I still have one over there. I tried both today, and yeah, the snow shovel is really hard for me with my cane to like you know i can push it but i can't really dump the snow so this thing worked really fantastic for that i really liked it one inch of snow definitely is for this uh this goes this works up to six inches of snow now it says it throws it about 25 feet in front of you to me it seemed like it throws maybe 10 feet in front of you didn't seem like 25 feet it seemed like 10 but the snow was kind of sticky, you know, so maybe it's if it's wet and sticky, maybe it's a little different. 
but yeah this thing did work really good um, um, I used it with a six amp hour battery and I still have four bars on it because I only needed to use it for five to ten minutes so I can't wait to use this unit here this one here is a 24 inch wide by 21 inch depth that has all its controls at the top um, now this thing says it can throw 55 feet um, I can't wait to actually use this because it's going There was a number of other units I tried that couldn't hold my weight. So like here, if I put my cane down and I move this, I could stand and it's, this is a little heavy to pick up. That's why the wheels are nice. But here, let me just pick that up and put it over there. This unit here, as you can see, I can put my weight against this unit really good. Let me just pan out and uh, it holds my weight up. So I can literally, instead of using the cane I can use the snowblower as my sort of crutch so I can hold on to it and then I can walk slow I've already used this outside and as long as it's in the first or second uh, speed I'm fine I also like the fact all the controls are here uh, yeah and then I can pick it up not a problem so you can see I can put pressure on it pick it up it's not a problem to do that but I can also put pressure against it so this works really good for me with my disability other thing I liked really a lot about this particular unit is you can adjust the height here you can adjust the height so if you're like me and I'm six foot two believe it or not a lot of these uh snow blowers these two say snow blowers are way too small they're really tiny also a lot of them tip over when I put a uh, pressure on it a lot of them tip over unfortunately they do now I need a two-stage snowblower here because we do have grass gravel and dirt as well as concrete and asphalt so definitely need that but today we just did the we just did the concrete with that thing worked awesome um the reason i went with renobi is i already own several renobi tools i own some chainsaws pole saws i also own a bunch of 18 volt system stuff as well and uh so i could use uh batteries i already had for this plus the batteries that came with this i could use for other tools so yep the the thing is it came with a rapid charger that charges four times faster so a six amp hour battery charges in about an hour and you can charge two of them i really want to get another rapid charger um because this thing can use four batteries so if you can have two rapid chargers you can have those four batteries back in an hour's time you know when you got like a good blizzard going on you're gonna have to go up multiple times but yeah this thing looks awesome so i can't wait